Hello humans, I'm Avery Miller, and today we're taking a look at a glitch in Video Olympics for the Atari 2600. I tell you what, I can't wait to play this game. Look at this totally not misleading cover art. I can't wait to see these graphics. Like, I'm gonna play as this guy, and I'll make my sister play as this guy. And, and we'll throw around this ball and we'll play, like, hockey or, or something. Come on, let's play this game. Okay, the Atari is on- Oh! Oh! When was this made? 1977? Yeah, it was made in 1977. Okay, um... What's the resolution? 160p? Okay, okay, I have a solution, though. I'll raise the resolution of the Atari. Finally, a chance to use my latest invention. The Resolutioninator... thing. Hmm, well, that's a little bit more smoke than I expected, but let's try to turn the Atari on anyways. Um, okay, it's on, and if you look at the screen, you'll see that the resolution has increased Matt, What, it didn't work? Okay, whatever, let's just continue before I have to change the name of the show to Sci-Fi with Cool Music. So the glitch we're taking a look at today will give you lots and lots of points. Of course, you only need 21 points to win, Pong, so... What you need to do is put the paddle, is that what it's called? Yeah, um, you gotta put it right about there. If you don't put it in the right spot, it will work for a couple of seconds, but then the ball will just go off screen, and then you'll lose. Once the paddle is in the right spot, it should hit the ball every time, without you touching the controls. Okay, I, I know it's technically not a glitch, but as far as I know, the developers didn't intend for this to happen. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool, and I know everybody really wants to find out how to beat a 37-year-old game, so... subscribe! Should I be concerned?